Mathcrafter360 here, and I'm back with another LEGO unboxing video. This time, I'm going to be unboxing the new LEGO Minecraft set 21263, The Badlands Mineshaft. It comes with 538 pieces, and it comes with 10 figures. It comes with two small slimes, a cave spider, two bats, a creeper, a husk, a Badlands explorer, a donkey, and a baby rabbit. We'll take a look at the back of the box. We can see the usual overall display of the set right here. And then we also have one of the play features that has to offer, which is you pull this lever and then TNT can blow up and expose an amethyst geode. You get a closer look at the geode here, which is made with some cool glittery purple blocks, which is nice. The donkey comes with some little pouches to store stuff in, and then just a little area for the Badland Explorer to sleep. But yeah. Let's get to the unboxing part of the video. So we have the thumb tabs here, which are annoying as usual. But, let's take out these bags. So we have bag four, we have bag five, bag one. Oh, we have the instructions here. Bag three. Bag two, and then that's it. Alright, let's put all these other bags to the side. Rotate the camera down a little bit. And yeah, let's get building. That's it for the time lapse. Let's get on to the review portion of the video. So as usual, let's start by taking off all the figures and looking at the set itself. Let's put all these guys to the side where we can look at them later. And yeah, so this is the Badlands Mineshaft set. And it's a lot bigger than I thought it was, honestly. Like the box make the box does not do it justice. It's way bigger in person than it is in the box. So there's a lot of uh, there's a whole minecart railway system going on, which makes sense because it's a mine shaft. And you can see there's some uh, powered rails here and some redstone torches to power them. There's a curved rail that leads into a tunnel from another tunnel, and you can take the the minecart chest here, and you can just kind of uh, you know slide it down the the track. It's not very it's not very good at going too fast, but it's a Lego toy. What do you what do you expect? Anyways, up here we can see the uh, the living quarters for the uh, what is it? The Badlands Explorer. It's got a furnace up here, and as usual with the furnaces, you can just uh, flip them back and forth, whether it's on or off. There's a crafting table here. Oh, there's also a little there's just little upside down block here that you can have you can attach uh, this bat to. So you put them on like that. And there's this hole that connects to this axle, and you put it in there, and bam. You're just hanging upside down like an actual bat. There's some cactuses here, or cacti, I guess. There's some dead bushes, uh, torches. And then uh, over here, there's some cobwebs, which you can kind of, uh, you know, push them open. You can, you can slip the cave spider through it as if it's coming out of the webs, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also a lot of ores in this set. Like I was, like I'm genuinely surprised at how many ores there are. Cause there's like, there's coal over here. There's some gold back here. There's copper. There's uh, there's more gold. There's some redstone too. Yeah, there's a lot of ores in this set. So, any player goes mining down here, they'll be sure to get something good. Anyway, over here for the play feature, there's some TNT here hidden inside the uh, this little crack here and as shown on the back of the box there's this lever so when we flick the lever oh my god what 
That's powerful there. When you flick the lever, the TNT explodes, and this this little chunk of debris goes flying. And some lava comes out too, which actually wasn't shown on the box. So there's some lava here, which is pretty cool. And uh, I really like how they did the, the Geo. I don't think there's a better way they could have done that, because they literally use these uh, glitter transparent purple pieces or bricks for the amethyst and it works really well I believe and you can remove all of these pieces here how the players mine them this one has a little uh, growing crystal out of it which is sick this whole set is pretty cool I feel like uh, there's another cobweb here and uh, yeah it's a in order to reassemble this is as simple as just putting this back over here and then just putting the TNT in this little hole here and bam, so you're all ready to blow it up again. I think you could also probably have like the creeper show up and do the same thing, but yeah. It's a pretty cool play feature. Pretty cool set, I like it. But anyways, uh, let's take a look at the minifigures now. Starting off our review of the minifigures, we have the Badlands Explorer custom skin. And uh, I've noticed something with these, uh, these new LEGO Minecraft sets. They want to make the players more expressive. So this guy, or girl, I guess she has a... She has a big open smile. She's very happy, probably because of all the ores she gets She gets to mine. She's got this, uh, I think that's a bandana on the torso, probably. And yeah, it comes around the back too. It's got overalls, it looks like, kind of, suspenders, I guess. And she comes with a diamond pickaxe and a netherite sword. So two relatively common tools. I don't, honestly don't really like how much Lego's including the netherite swords in the sets, because they're supposed to be, like, the rarest and strongest tools, but whatever. But uh, yeah, pretty cool skin, pretty neat figure. Uh, I think it, I think the smile looks a bit weird, but uh, otherwise, yeah. Let's move on to the next figure. For our next figure, we have the husk. And while this is the second time this figure has been in the Lego set, the first time was in the uh, the creeper mine set from I think 2019. Uh, this version is uh, updated. And it's a lot more detailed, and it's a lot better, in my opinion, than the one from the other set. It's got some really nice uh, dirty printing for the torso. It's got some mouth, whatever that is, printing. Oh, uh, yeah, the t torso printing continues on to the back with rips and uh, dirt stains and stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. It's really nicely detailed, and I'm glad they brought it back and improved it. Our next figure is the Creeper, and it's been in a ton of sets. Everyone knows what it looks like. It's got the, the exclusive uh, body mold for the head printing. No arms, obviously. Yeah. It's a creeper. It explodes. It's green. I don't know what else to say. Our next figure is the donkey. And this is a cool one because it's also, much like the husk, the first time it's been in the set since, uh, I think it was the farm cottage in 2017. Yeah, so the second time it's ever been in a Lego set. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem like much has changed from the original. Uh, there's these little... Uh, backpack pouch pieces whatever and you can put them on here as if the donkey is storing items and actually what you can do is there's some gold in the minecart chest and you can take out you can take out the gold ingots and you can just kind of stick them in the storage and then you can you know put the player the badlands explorer on the donkey have them ride around with their valuables in the donkey pouches yeah pretty cool uh it's a uh, like the, it's like the exact same build as the horse, except uh, it's got different head printing to match the donkey. And yeah, pretty cool figure. I'm glad it's back. Our next figure is the cave spider. And you might notice a trend with this set, and that trend is that it brings back a lot of figures that haven't been in the set for a while. So first the husk and the donkey, and now the cave spider, which I believe the last appearance of that was in the Bedrock Adventure set from 2018, so... It's pretty cool that it's finally back here. It's like the regular spider build, except it's dark blue. It has some uh, extra mouth printing at the bottom, I guess, that you wouldn't normally see, because spiders are normally black. Uh, it uses the same leg design as a spider, where it kind of goes up and down. You can move these if you want. And yeah, it's basically the exact same as the regular spider, except the only difference is that um, it's dark blue, and it's also slightly shorter and smaller. So yeah, it's pretty nice to have this back after... Uh, after a few years. Our next two figures, if you want to call them figures, 
are the small slimes. Uh, I've looked at a small slime before on the channel. I think it was in the yeah, it was in the Swamp Adventure set. And uh, yeah, they're just transparent green Minecraft headpieces with slime printing. Not much else to say, but it's pretty cool that you got two of them in the set. It's always nice to get some more slimes. For our next two figures, we have bats. And uh, yeah, there's not really much to say. I think I've talked about bats before. But there's two versions in the set. There's one with uh, closed wings and one with open wings. And yeah, there's not really much else to say. You can stick them on the, the underside of the block here, as I showed earlier. And one thing that's interesting, actually, is that Minecraft recently updated their bats in-game. And they look different. They look... Uh, they look cuter, I guess. They look a bit more purpley, too, which I don't really like. But, yeah. Lego hasn't updated their bat design yet, but I'm sure they probably will. But, yeah. Those are the bats. For our last figure, we have the baby rabbit. I'm not sure if this one's been in the set before because Lego rarely releases rabbits, and they're usually all somewhat different. But this particular rabbit is a desert rabbit because they, they, you know, they spawn in deserts. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got a nice little cute face print here. And, uh, yeah, honestly, there's not really much else to say. It's a rabbit. Yeah, it's pretty cool that it's in this set. And, yeah. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.